The next learning objective is spatial classification and spatial dissolve. The spatial classification is an operation that um, associates a grouping of spatial features. So it, it groups um, spatial features based upon a spatial criteria. It's also called reclassification or recoding. The reclassification is performed based on a reassignment rule which maps the values of features to a new class. So for example, if we look at here, uh, the source layer has features A, B, E, and I. And this rule maps A to 1, B to 1, E to 2, and I to 3. So based upon this classification table, we create a new map with new values of the features. And basically, we have reclassified the input values to some output values. Or in other words, we have recoded the values. When the recoding is done to two values, it's called a binary classification. For example, in this case, we have three values. But if there were only two, it will be called binary classification. Here's an example of binary classification. Um, in, in primarily, the output is only true or false or 0 or 1. Um, consider the spatial criteria. Find all the states west of Mississippi. So if, it, if this criteria is true for a state, it will, be one, it will get value 1. And if it's false for a state, it will get value 0. So here is the Mississippi River. And based upon the river, everything west of it gets 1. Everything east of it gets 0 and we get a binary classification uh, or binary recoding. Um, there is also automatic classification that you have experienced in GIS and it's it's a function that GIS provides so when you assign colors to your features based upon an attribute value you may have noticed that it you have to tell it how many classes you want to assign and it automatically assigns colors based upon uh, some rules and this would be a good opportunity for for you to understand those rules are based upon the histogram of the uh, the values so these are the values of an attribute or the area in this case it's a population um, and it creates many bins of that that the the variable and then fits in the frequency of that value. So for example, um, between 3000 and 3100, the value is 8.1%. That's the frequency. And there are three types of automatic classifications, equal interval classification, equal area classification, and natural breaks classification. And if you scroll down in your ArcMap um, symbology, um, tab you can see all of these different criteria that you can apply in case of equal interval classification it basically takes the x-axis of the values and divides into three equal intervals so in this case it goes from 0 to 5133 so it divides 5133 over 3 because 3 is the number of classes and each each class gets 1,711 uh, values, and this way you can see it's 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 a classification based on range. So high values don't get very many uh, pixels, um, or many features, and that can be a, a cosmetic problem sometimes if you're trying to show a certain variation in the in the map, but. The, this can be taken care of by another process called equal area classification. So in this case, it's not based upon y, uh, based upon x-axis values, but it's based upon the area. So each class should get equal area. So if this area was considered 100%, then first class, the, the break or this division should be such that this class gets 33% of the area, 33.33. The second class also gets the one-third of the area, and third class also gets one-third of the area. So as you can see that 
um, this medium class um, has a lot of has very few values here in the histogram but area wise they cover a large section of the of the overall feature area the third one is natural breaks and this is also an automatic process where it looks at the histogram and finds some natural breaks in the histogram so for example it looks for values here if it sees this value it says okay I'm gonna create a new group uh, from this point onwards similarly it looks at these two peaks and roughly estimates another uh, break here and this is another way ArcMap will do classification so um, in any case reclassification is useful tool when we are trying to reassign values based upon certain rule and it can help us um, create new maps from existing maps and perform spatial analysis now the other thing that uh, we wanted to talk about this in, the, in this uh, learning objective is the dissolve operation. So div dissolve is an operation that take, combines or merges similar features based upon a special criteria. So for example, we earlier applied the binary classification based upon the Mississippi River. Uh, we can dissolve all the values that have one into a single polygon and all the values that have the, all the features that have value zero into another polygon and this process will result in only two polygons and um, basically we have dissolved all of the little features into a single feature. 